Simba, NYC TV. So happy to have you back. My name is Shelda Smith of Shelly S Entertainment, and you have tuned in to the 10th episode of Simba, NYC TV from out of Brooklyn, New York. Today is Friday, August 12, 2016. Thank God it's Friday. No time to waste. We are going on a road trip. Last week we went out to the mass camps, saw some of those amazing costumes. But without the costumes, uh, you need some music. So we are going to check out a couple of pan yards. Just a little info about the steel pan. The steel pan originated in Trinidad and Tobago. And it is the only instrument that's been made in the 20th century. And it's also the only instrument made out of industrial waste. Every performer that you see is learning by ear. There is no music sheet. And uh, just like in a classical orchestra, the steel pan has its own orchestra. Uh, it has the high-pitched tenor to the guitar with the chords, the uh, double second, that, um, the, the phrases it answers back. And we also have the bass, the deep sounding bass. So, Got that? Let's go. Shelda Smith of Shelly S Entertainment and we are on the road again. Simba NYC TV knows that no carnival is complete without the sounds of steel pan. So we have taken a trip and this is our first stop. We're at Black Love and it's at 840 Flatbush Avenue corner of Linden Boulevard. And standing next to me is Brian Nicholas and he is the founder and the arranger of Black Love. Say hi to our Simba NYC TV fans. Hi, how are y'all doing? Um, my name is Brian. Um, 
the leader of Black Love, is a new band that's emerging, and we welcome all players to come by at the address that Shella just gave you, the 840 Flappish Avenue, and check us out. Now, I'm going to tell you, we have a little bit of history. This is a man that's been part of every band almost. in the almost every band in Brooklyn. And we can go on Pan Rebels, Despers USA, Rados, Pantonics, Golden Stars. Golden Stars. We could be here all night. <laughs> and we are at his pan yard. Now, I want to let you know because people are saying pan yard. A pan yard could be either indoors or it can be outdoors. And we are happy to be here. Yes. Now, I, wanna, I know that you are the arranger, so I want you to tell me, what is it like to arrange? What does that mean? Uh, it's, it's a joy for me, I mean, to, to get my music out. And um, it's, a, it's a lot of work, too, to get the, the chords and the players to, to, to come together and to play as one. So it's, it's a beautiful thing. I just want to know about the process in your head. How do you take that song and translate it on, on these instruments? Well, um, you got to know a little bit of music and you got to know about chords and progressions mm -hmm. and what the chords for that particular song is before you could actually transpose it to the instrument. Mm -hmm. yeah. What I would like for you now is just to walk us through some of these instruments. Tell us what it is. Okay. Uh, right here we got um, the double second. It's like um, the to me the, the things are alto between um, between um, the tenor pan, double tenor, guitar pan, and bass. You know, you go from from low to low to lower. This is the low, lower pan. This a little. The double tenor is a little higher than the seconds, and so is the tenor. This is the tenor right here. The tenor, that's the baby of the whole thing. I, I like this, this pan right here is my favorite pan, so I grew up on this pan. This other, um, this is the double tenor. I ain't really did too much work on the double tenor, so I ain't really familiarized with, mm -hmm. you know? But I could play um Double the hand movement. Yeah, double the hand movement. <laughs> right. okay. And this is? This is the guitar pan. Another pan I ain't know too much about. <laughs> okay. You got um you got basically comprised of all the notes that that's in the scale. If you could compare this to a keyboard or a piano, it has the same amount of range from, from low to high. So it's basically the same thing as a, a piano. We could, you could do anything on these instruments that you could do in an orchestra, or we could play classical music, we could play regular R&B, anything. So this got all the the parts and, and the necessities that you need to create music. Now I know a pan is classified as a percussion, a percussion instrument. Yeah. Yes, it is. yes it is. I guess it I, is. I come from a home of pan. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> and tell me about, this is your bass. Yeah, this is the bass. Bass, bass, bass. You got us. So we are 
a one six two fight, right? There's a one six two five in C. C A D G C A D G So this this holds the root, the root of the front line pan. This is the background pan. This is the belly of the band. So most likely, you know, it depends on your, your who's arranging. Either you could play put the bass on one, which is, is a musical term for one one three five, one three five six. Mm -hmm. One six five, it depends on how a person feel. If you notice uh there's a lot of ranges and everybody have a different style, a different sound. So it, it, it's we the same notes in the same pan, but it's how you use it. That's the will determine your quality or your your difference between other musical arrangers. And no pan is complete without the drum. The drum. We got my man Tiba here on the drums. Is this is Tiba, ladies and gentlemen? You'll give me a little demonstration. Yes, Tiba, we would love to have a demonstration. just listening to the sounds of black love 
Now, there are all sizes of bands. There's a small size, a medium, and a large. But listen to what this small band just did. You know, we are so happy to feature new and emerging bands. And um, I want to introduce you to one of the other players. This is Malcolm. That's correct. How y'all doing out there? Say hi to our Simba NYC TV. Simba NYC TV fans, what is going on? <laughs> Carnival is in the air. It is. It's definitely in the air. And, you know, here at Black Love, we're just trying to get our little part in, get our little piece to fit in right with the vibes, you know? And you are fitting in. <laughs> this is absolutely beautiful. And that Drake... Drake would be proud. Yeah, I mean, we, 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 we try to do a lot of traditional stuff and, you know, some of the latest stuff. You know, me, myself, being a new player, you know, I owe, owe it all to Brian, our instructor, who kind of gets us together, gets us in sync, arranges the music so that we could just go out there and vibe. So, that's what it is. It was beautiful. Another player. And we have... <laughs> Hi, I'm Lisa. In introduce yourself, not to me, but to our Simba NYC TV family. Hi, Simba NYC family. I'm Lisa Renault, and I'm one of Brian's new students. I've only been playing since November of last year. You have... He's one of the best teachers in the world. I cannot tell you his patience, his dedication to making sure that we learn the notes. And at one point I was going to walk away and he was very encouraging to stop and really learn how to play and understand the notes. You're not just playing a record. You're really, you're not just playing the music. You're really understanding how it works. And it's interesting to see his vision of what he expects from us to actually happen on the pans. Who would ever think I would be playing in the police, uh, for the police department or in the street, or we played with Rados last Tuesday. We had an opportunity to introduce ourselves. So it was just, for me, it's personal growth. It's pretty exciting, pretty exciting. Well, you know, we had an absolutely great time here. But Brian, before we leave, I want you to speak to, to other people who are out there. Um, one of the things that she says is you're very patient and very accommodating, and, and that's always good for people who are new to pan. So I've seen a pan side this small emerge into a side of 150 players. I've witnessed that. I witnessed that too. <laughs> so we can come back here in about three, two to three years. Yeah, and maybe a year. Well, maybe a year. <laughs> so I want you to reach out to people who are out there who would be interested in playing with Black Love? Yes, um, anybody who is uh, interested in playing with Black Love, they could um, reach us at uh, 840 Flatbush Avenue, corner Linden Boulevard. Um, everybody's welcome. I mean, it's, 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 it's a happy family here. It ain't no stress. It ain't no no bad talking behind your back, that, that kind of thing. We give each other hugs, <laughs> kisses. We hang out. We go to little shows and thing and we even go to eat out sometime on a Friday. So we don't just play pan. We do we have other activities that we are involved in. Um by the way, Lisa. Lisa is our um spokesperson by the way, right? She has other things that I sure she would like to add to the things I, I, I've said. Things that we would like everyone to know is that we range from all ages, from someone who's very young up to someone in their 50s, 60s, and 70s. And just the climate in here and the spirit that we have, I want to echo what Brian has said. We've truly become a family. We do hang out with each other. We support each other. We created a WhatsApp, you know, communication where we talk to each other. That's how we knew all about you. And we were so excited and we were preparing for this visit because for us, this is totally unbelievable. The fact that we get to talk to someone like you and share what Black Love does. It's an amazing, amazing band. And I, and I think I could speak for all of my peers, we are truly excited to be part of this. And for you to even recognize us is just unbelievable. Unbelievable. I'm very excited. Well, I'm excited to be here. Um, you know, we definitely there are larger bands, established bands in the Brooklyn area. But what Simba NYC TV is very focused on is to highlight mm -hmm. hidden emerging talent. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this band certainly 
mm -hmm. is talented. Mm -hmm. and, and what I like before we even leave is I like the fact that you name it Black Love. Yes. And you're showing. I'm very proud of Black people. Love. My dad's from Trinidad. And he's in heaven right now, but I know he's looking down saying, is that my child playing? I can't believe it. Lisa is actually playing. You know, the double get to something I thought wasn't even possible that really wasn't in my head. And if it wasn't for Brian and all of our peers and the collaboration that we have together, I wouldn't be standing here today talking to you. It's a humbling feeling and an honor to be a student of Brian's. It really is. And I'm very impressed, you know. One of our younger players is standing behind me. She wants to come out. You want to come out and just say hi? Oh, come on, come, 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 come. Look at our two young players. Yes. Do you want to say hi and introduce yourself? Hi, everybody. Say hi, Simba NYC TV. Say it with some pride. Yes. Hi, Simba NYC T. Come on, girl. Hi, Simba NYC T. Yeah, I'm so proud of you. Uh -huh. What do I have to say? Same thing. Hi. Same thing. Hi, Simba NYC TV. Hi, Simba NYC TV. Hmm. And these are our youngest part of the group. We actually all have little nicknames, but these are the youngest ones, and these are the future of black love because they truly care and they understand. They're patient. They're never late. They're always on time. They even play better than me with some things, so I have to follow them. That's how <laughs> impressed I am. Mm -hmm. But it's nice to see the age group and you know the collaboration that Brian has with everyone when it comes to um, this particular band. We're here three days a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. We're here in the snow, the rain, the heat, because everyone here is dedicated to making this a band. And just to think that we play for the police department or we played at Rado's is just unbelievable for us. So, and we get to meet you. It's pretty exciting, pretty exciting. Simba NYC TV. Black love. Don't forget the. Uh, I, I got to dance for a minute. Intro, intro, intro. into the bird solo. Straight into the jab. Right? All the way down, mistakes and all, right? This one for the camera crew. I know we still heard it, but let's see what y'all got. Pat around with y'all. First at chorus. Not too fast, not too fast. Not too fast.
Our second stop. We are at the Panyard of Steel Explosion and standing next to me is the band manager Tamika Garcia. Yes. Say hello to our Simba NYC TV viewers. Hello Simba NYC. How are you guys doing today? You Welcome to Steel Explosion Panyard, you know where we do the hottest music, funky, steel band music and everything else. How long has this band been in existence? Um, Steel Explosion uh, has been in existence maybe three years now in New York, but um, we actually have been born in Lavent Hills, so we've been around since the 80s, which a lot of people don't know. Then the band moved over into Tobago, which we have a Steel Explosion, our main sister band, as we call it, in the Tobago area. So uh, we've been around for some years, over 20 years now. Um, we've won in the medium band categories and everything in Tobago, and we've decided after a few years to finally open it up in America. So the goal is Panorama. Panorama 2016. That's that's what we after right now. So that's what everyone is here practicing for. 
So I see tonight is a practice night, and so there are a few players, but I know this is just the second week in August. Exactly. And usually, probably by the third week, you'll have a whole bunch more players. Exactly. And um, it's always good to reach out to get more players, so I'm going to give you an opportunity to let people know where you're located and um, that they can come and be a part of Steel Explosion. Definitely. So, um, you know, we're a growing band. We have, you know, our players here. A lot of our players are beginners, but they're doing their thing. As you've heard on the music and everything, they're awesome. Um, we have our crack shots, as they say, falling in the last two to three weeks. So it just grows like magic, like like magic. You don't know where it comes from. But um, if you guys want to check us out, come and play some funk, some jazz, a little bit of soca, everything. You know, this band is real versatile. Check us out at 89. 20 Avenue D in Brooklyn. We are between Remsen and Foster. Come check us out. This is where the cool line is. We also have our band launching on August 20th. It's going to be off the chain. So you guys come through, check out Steel Explosion USA, the band to be in. Now, I know that your arranger is here. Yes. Um, can we talk to the arranger? <laughs> Come on, Fred, let's do the thing. <gasps> that, that and this is the arranger, and his name is Freddie Harris the Third. Hey, what's good? He good. What's good? He good. Introduce yourself to our Simba NYC TV viewers. From what they do, Simba TV NYC <laughs> viewers, this is your boy FH3, other known as Freddie Harris the Third. FH3, Fred Steele, behind on the man behind Steel Explosion, alongside my sister. Positive management. You can link us up on 89th and Avenue D. We yes. practice from 6:30 until whenever. Whenever, whenever. So this is a family affair. Yes, of most definitely. The of brother course. and sister team over yeah, here, well. and everybody inside of here is family. We always call us the the SXP family. So yeah. you know, you check us all out. Ain't nothing but love and cool vibes over here. Oh, you already know, yeah. So we're going hard right now. We just started the song. I have a bunch of um new members in my crew. Just flash my crew for me real quick, cause I'm all about my crew. Oh. <laughs> this is just flash. Yeah, you know what I mean. These all new members and stuff like that. Beginners too, you beginners. They've been playing they play some years ago and they're coming back to refresh their skill. Some of them just touching the pan for the first time over mm. here. I got some three year members with me. I got some four or five year members, but nobody over about five years so far except for me and my sister right now. And Dexter. That's our big vet in the cut right here. Dexter, Dexter. Yeah, yeah. So we going hard right now. We trying to finish up the song. We about five, six minutes in so far. Hey. <laughs> Now, you know I love to go into the mind of the arranger. Tell us a little bit about your arrangement. Okay, well, um, I'm basically trying to tell a story of this song, Temperature. It's a hot song, but I'm trying to bring the sweetness out of there because, you know, wherever, it is, wherever sweet dwells, there's something hot lurking, you know what I mean? So I'm trying to bring the sweeter end of the song out right now, but then the minor section and the jam. The verse and chorus, I'm working on the, um, the solo parts right now, the solo arrangement. Um, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to give it that basically that airplane finish where you basically take off and then you, you know, you got your rising climax like a story mm -hmm. and then you get to the top and you got your climax somewhere in the middle there, somewhere about six minutes or so where the whole song bubbles and then you got falling action, you know, just like a story boy and then you got your conclusion. Which is ending your resolution, basically, which ends the song. So I'm trying to give it that whole airplane finish so that we feel that and I could take the listeners on a journey with me. Sounds like a winner. Sounds like a winner. So we are going to be looking out for you, Panorama. I really want to say thank you for allowing us to be here at Steel Explosion. And, um, you know, it's Labor Day, it's Carnival. And Nothing can be done without the sweet sounds of Steel Pan. Oh, yeah. Simba NYC TV says thank you for coming on this journey with us. And we're out. As XP says, thank you for having us. Exactly. That's what's up. You know, we love you guys at Simba TV, yo. FH3 Definitely. and Tammy G say so. Yo, and yo, Simba could even come through and jam. That's what I'm talking about. Yo, what's good? Well, what's good? What's yeah, good? We, ha we have some skills. We just, you know, <laughs> we're just keeping it down. But we have some skills. And maybe we'll do that. Oh, we know Definitely. the history. We know the uh, Rebels we know, history. We know, we know the Pan Rebels we, history. We Don't even try to right sleep. Here. It'll be nice to get some Pan Rebels up inside <laughs> yeah. a Steel Explosion. 
was like, eh, yeah, photo bomb. And you know, that's how that's our crew over there. You know, things don't happen. That's, uh, that's Terry. The, that's the, uh, Flash uh, Terry. Flash yeah, Terry. Terry. That's our cook. Look at the cook. That's the cook. cook. Yeah. yeah, she the cook. She the cook. Explosion. You see me all the way. We working hard over here. Who else want to talk? Because I'm not big, talking all night. Big up my captain yeah. over here. I'm the captain. Right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. The short me. Front, smallest nah, one. The shortest the one. Wait, hey, no. You know what I mean? Who else want to talk? Man, listen. Listen, man. Yo, talk about that party. What's good? Listen, listen. Ellis Vibes, we having an all-white affair over here. The 20. August 20th, I want to see everybody coming in sexy white, all right? Yeah. I want to see everything. We selling them tickets. We selling them tickets. Ten dollar early birds, twenty regular, and twenty five VIP. I want to see everybody pull up. I want to see everybody. Hey. Yeah, that. Um, yeah. I, I don't. I don't. <laughs> I'm, I'm picking up my team Endless Vibes, all right? You all right? We got two people right here. I know, I know, yeah, I know. I know. I know. Two people work too hard in this group, besides me too. You feel me? <laughs> all right? So but I want to see everybody out? pull up to that party the 20th. Let me see all you roll up. Real thing, all right? Right here. Right here. Hey. Yeah, no, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. What? Always comes to bust a line. Listen, what you want? I am the master, <laughs> Mr. Sumo. Oh, okay. This what we acting up. This what we acting up. Okay, we're gonna wrap it up. We have had an amazing, fun night at Steel Explosion. Most that. Most that. And I really want people to come join the band. This is a band of love and a good time and. Amazing, talented arranger here. Come on down. Come on down to Steel Explosion. Any last words? Well, check us out, freddyharris3.com, um, steelexplosion.com. You can check us out at facebook.com. You can check out all our videos on YouTube. Freddie Harris 3, Tammy G, the soca artist, would lead you to anything. She's also the manager, soca artist slash manager. Steel Explosion Facebook, Steel Explosion YouTube. And then during the week, we always got, uh, we have food, we have drinks here, you know, so just come through, eat, lime, chill, do whatever. You know, this is a yard that you're going to have mad vibes in, so check us out. You ain't going to get no more love than an SXP yard. That's Trust me, up. we on fire. We, on fire. We on lit fire. up in here, I'm telling you. <laughs> and don't worry, and the salt fish good, huh? Yes, yes. <laughs> Tell me, so nice. Simba NYC TV wants to say thank you for coming along on the journey to these pan yards. Boom. See you next week. Peace out. Peace out. Peace, love, and pan, baby. Peace, uh, love, and pan. I like that. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed the melodic sounds of the steel drum or well, the steel pan. But you know, one of the things that I'm going to talk about um, is the challenges of the steel pan in North America. One of the most difficult things is finding first a rehearsal space. Every year it seems like the steel pan is changing zip codes. They were here and now they're someplace else. There is no stationary place. We also have the difficulties of real estate and if you do find a place the cost is about for the minimum two to three thousand dollars per month. Now to go to Panorama, the cost is about forty thousand with a prize of twenty thousand. So we're talking about raising funds to pay for the drill master, the arranger, the tuner, and the cost of just the pans. To replace a tenor pan is about minimum eight hundred dollars. So the question you might be asking is, why even do it? But we know why. It's for the love of the, of the pan. It's to keep the uh, Caribbean culture alive in North America. But it is quite a challenge. Um, I've even seen the difference in sponsorships. Um, there was a time that there were big sponsors out there. And now they're not. So IBM, if you're out there, Colgate, Corona, if anybody's listening, sponsorship would certainly help with these steel bands. I thank you for watching, but I, I really want you to keep that in mind. You know, when you think about the future of steel band, it's an amazing instrument, and um, I really hope that you enjoyed. 
Thank you for watching. Jai is love and love is all we need. TV.